Hello everyone, one of the greatest battle that I encounter while using DeepSeek, ChatGPT or Gemini is that it does not have a specific option for the specific subjects. What I mean by specific options or specific subjects? Well, let me explain to you. For example, if you want to study DBMS and you go to ChatGPT and then after you just type teach me promises in JavaScript or uh, what about the POTD of lead code of today's or what about the some other context, right? So it's decluttering and in this you're going to find plenty of things that have the decluttering of stuff. But I have just encountered this problem and have tried to solve it using the React application and the help of Gemini API. So presenting you my React application, that's called Code Lab where you can go and study the specific subjects like DBNS, computer networks, C++, Java, JavaScript, and the lead code problems. However, I have tried to use the Gemini API and make a specific to that, to stick to the relevant topic and to this relevant windows. I just want you to show you more exactly this project and how it can helpful for you in your longer runs. So yeah, without any delays, I want you to have on my computer screen and then look upon the products and the CD. So yeah. I'm on my computer screen and as you can see this is the what which I'd like to share with you. Uh, you can see this DBMS, CPP, JavaScript, Computer Networks, Java and the lead code. Right. So uh, let's uh, move forward and let me explain you what exactly these things do. Uh, for example, if I click on this one, right, you can see this DBMS section. If I click on CPP, it's going to give me the CPP section. If I click on JavaScript, it's going to give me a JavaScript section. But the interesting thing is this, you can see this DBMS is at the last, CPP is in here and the JavaScript over there. What if I click on DBMS, you can see this, this simply uh, like uh, the Windows feature which we have. I can also resize it from all the sites, from here as well, from here as well, from here as well, and uh, yeah. So this is a feature which we find mostly in uh, Windows like components. If I go on full screen mode, it's going to give me this kind of interface. And here is the syllabus regarding the DBMS section uh, specifically, right? You cannot uh, have the syllabus of anything else. If I go on click, so close, uh, close, you can hear the some sound on there, right? Uh, apart from this, um, I also have this small cross section over there. If I click on this button, this window is gone. Now, let me give you uh, the most insightful tip about this one. Um, this is where we are at in the JavaScript section, right? So in JavaScript section, what I will do to you, I will just write one topic of JavaScript and other topic which is not in the JavaScript. For example, there is no such topic as pointers in javascript right if i click over here it has given me this uh that you cannot have any other things apart from javascript okay let's uh, go for this one and let me have promises uh, promises are in javascript right i go over here and you can look uh, it's loading actually uh let me let me have this loading component go well yeah so Moving ahead, you can read these all things about promises and all, right? Uh, this is something about promises. Um, I would also like you to have something over here. Uh, this is uh, in just a form of uh, the code, right? I will, I will like you to have go and, and for lead code. For example, if you go and say lead code question. Uh, 345 in CPP, it is going to give you on CPP, right? Um, it's loading, still loading. There is no syllabus in lead code, that's why I have not put anything in over here. And this is your solution of uh, question number 345 in lead code, right? Um, I guess it's about wobble swapping or something like Yeah, I don't know this one actually. So if you go and uh, suppose you want to get um, question question four five or question nine eight nine eight in Java Java right it will generate you question ninety eight in Java hold on for a second um yeah here is question ninety eight. Uh, 
right? It has also an explanation. Yeah, you can see uh, I have not mentioned the lead code and it has given me the question 98 in Java. Now, the most important thing which I like to over here is there is uh, C and there is JavaScript, C++. If I click and drag it over here, yeah, so I am inside my uh, Java Widow component and let's see if it's really working or not. For example, if we go file handling, right? File handling, it, you can see it is still generating. So it will generate the response and will give it to you. Uh, cool, wait, just hold on for a second. Yeah, cool. So it has already done and um, you can see over here. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Impressive, right? Yeah, indeed. So that's that's the project which I wanted to show you. Right? It has some boundaries and limitations. For example, there is no such thing as promises in Java. Or you can simply say promises, right? Let's go for promises. Only Java questions are allowed. Yeah, cool, impressive. I said okay. And also I can copy. Uh, the solution has been copied to the clipboard. It is also uh, giving me this one. Right. So if you want me to give a demonstration that has been copied or not, yeah, cool. Here is something which has been copied, right? So there is also these kind of features uh, you can implement in your project. The reason why I made this application is because to really counter this decluttering thing. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, that's it about uh, today's video and I hope you have really enjoyed it. I hope you have liked the project which I have shared with you. And apart from this, uh, I will attach the live demonstration link as well as uh, the GitHub link in the comment section where you can go and uh, look upon all the projects assets and all the projects code. And you can also see about yourself and help me some improvement ideas and suggestions. I'm free to any of the criticism which you have. Right. So, yeah, that's it for now. And I hope we will meet again. Uh, still then, stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. And uh, stay tuned for more such uh, AI projects that I will build. And show you that will really uh, leverage your education and help you grow in life. Yeah. Thank you very much. See you. Take care. Bye-bye.